I'm Tracy Leong. This is the WJZ 13 at your desk update. A former Carroll County teacher of the year is behind bars this morning after police say he was arrested in a sting targeting child predators. Police say Kenneth Fisher contacted an officer who was posing as a 14 year old boy online. Police say Fisher was looking for sex. Fisher was arrested at his home in Westminster. Fisher has been a teacher or administrator at several Carroll County schools since 2000. A vigil was held last night at Murray Hill Middle School for Laura Wallen, who was found dead Wednesday after going missing last week. Montgomery County police confirmed the Howard County school teacher was shot to death before being buried in a shallow grave in Damascus. Her boyfriend, Tyler Tessier, has been charged with murder. A dangerous suspect is on the loose, and city police need your help to find him. This is a sketch of a suspect who police say on September 9th sexually assaulted a woman behind Red Emma's bookstore on North Avenue. The victim says she met the suspect inside, and he lured her to the rear of the 1900 block of St. Paul Street, where she was raped. If you know anything about this man, you're asked to call Baltimore City Police. And a major boost for Port Covington as Goldman Sachs announces plans to invest $233 million to help develop the port. The global investment banking company will become a joint owner of Port Covington, along with Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank's Sagamore Development Company. Sagamore has secured $660 million in public financing for the project, with the goal of turning the port into a mix of housing, offices, restaurants, and shops. WJC 13 is always on. Tune into Eyewitness News today at noon, 4, 5, 6, and and 11. For the latest on these stories and for constant updates, stay right here with CBSBaltimore.com.